guys welcome back to another video this week i'm glad you're back for a brand new recipe this week we're going to make a pasta dish this is a very customizable pasta that i'm going to be showing you you can pretty much add any vegetables to your liking this recipe is more towards a dinner recipe more like a date night recipe you can make this recipe for your partner for a special occasion and anniversary right now that we're in quarantine we don't really want to go out and eat a lot you can make this recipe for your significant other and i'm sure they're gonna love this recipe you can customize it to their liking but before we get started on this week's recipe i just want to remind you if you please subscribe to my channel i post new recipes every single week remember subscribing is free and it helps me out so more people can watch my videos so let's get to it with this recipe for this week's recipe we're going to need about five mushrooms about two canned jalapenos a little handful of spinach, one cup of shrimp, one and a half cups of heavy cream, shaved parmesan and shredded parmesan, one Roma tomato, three garlic cloves, a little piece of onion, one tablespoon of butter, salt to your taste, and white pepper or black pepper. Now for the main ingredient, we're going to be using pasta. I'm using thin spaghetti, but you can use angel hair or any pasta to your liking. We're going to start off by cutting all of our mushrooms. Just slice them up. I'm using about five mushrooms in total. Remember this recipe is to your liking, so however many mushrooms you wanna use, or if you don't wanna use any mushrooms or you wanna use other vegetables instead, you can go ahead and do that as well. We're also going to chop up the garlic. This garlic is going to give it a little bit of a taste. Now my garlic cloves are a little bit small. So if you have a big garlic clove, I would recommend only using one. I have three small garlic cloves on here. Now you guys know that I don't like the taste of garlic. So this is just the right amount of garlic for me. We're going to chop that very finely. We're also going to chop between one to two jalapenos. Now these are canned jalapenos. You can also use, fr you can also use fresh jalapenos. But I feel like canned jalapenos work better for this recipe. Again, we're going to chop them very finely finally last thing that we're gonna chop is our tomato now our tomato we're not gonna cook it with our dish this is just more for decoration if you guys don't want to use tomato you don't have but it does give it a little bit of that freshness to it now that we have all of our ingredients chopped up let's get to the stove on a big pot i'm going to add about 10 cups of water one garlic clove a little piece of onion salt and oil to your taste i'm going to cover this and wait until it starts to boil i'm gonna cook this pasta in medium to low heat once my water starts to boil like this, I am going to add my pasta. I'm going to be cooking all of my pasta right now, everything that came on the box, because I'm going to be using half of it for right now. The other half, I'm going to be using it for later. So if you guys want exact measurements, just use about half of the box that it usually comes in. It would be about a handful of it. This recipe is for two people. So we're going to make sure that our pasta is fully cooked and we're going to cover this until it starts to boil. It's been boiling for about 8 minutes, so let's check on our pasta. Move your pasta around and you can get a little string and eat it, make sure if it's cooked. You can turn off your stove at this time if it's already cooked. And we're going to drain the water out. This is our pasta, it's fully cooked. We don't want it to overcook, we just want it barely cooked because it's going to finish cooking with the Alfredo sauce. And we don't want our pasta to get mushy. So do cook your pasta, but don't let it cook all the way. Next thing we're going to do is make our Alfredo sauce. This dish is preferably made on a flat pan. I did not have one in hand at the moment, so I'm going to be using this pot. You can make it work. It's better if you use a flat pan. I'm going to be adding our butter to this. I'm going to be adding our butter to the pan. Let it melt all the way. When the butter is melted, I'm going to add the heavy cream. Let that boil for about two minutes. We're going to add about half a cup of shaved parmesan. It's just about a handful of it. Make sure you move that around because it's gonna stick to the bottom of your pot or pan if you do. Make sure you make sure you move your cheese all the way around. We're going to add our chopped garlic. And we're also going to add our mushrooms. Make sure you keep moving constantly. About three minutes in, we're going to add our white pepper, a little pinch, add that and also add a little bit of salt. Move this around. A minute later, we're going to add our pasta next. Move that around. And then we're going to add our chopped jalapenos and about a handful, about one cup of spinach. Again, we're gonna move this around. Just make sure to be careful with your pasta. This is why we wanna use a flat pan. That way you can move your pan, shake your pan around. 
to move all your ingredients together versus you using a spoon and moving your pasta around and creating that mushiness in your pasta but you can make it work just don't move your pasta too much i'm going to be placing my spaghetti on top of my spinach that way it can cook faster we just want for a spinach to get soft about two minutes later i'm going to add my shrimp now my shrimp is already cooked in the vein do not put any raw shrimp on here because it's not going to cook you have to cook it separately if it's not done cooking i bought cooked shrimp so that's what i'm going to be using i'm just going to be placing it on top mixing everything around I did notice that my sauce needed a little bit more cheese, so I'm going to be adding another half a cup, making it a total of one cup of shredded cheese that I'm going to be using. Again, moving this very carefully. Now we're just waiting for all of our ingredients to incorporate together. We're going to be letting this simmer for about a minute or two. Make sure you move constantly, but not too constantly, so your pasta won't get mushy. After two minutes, this dish is ready, so we're ready to turn off the stove. And this is the end result for our dish. I finished off my plate with a little bit of tomatoes on top of my pasta and shredded parmesan. I added a piece of garlic bread and a cup of white wine. And this recipe is ready for a date night. It works for any anniversary. Perfect if you still want to celebrate your anniversary but don't want to make a risk of going out. It's a very easy, simple recipe. It literally took me about 30 minutes in total to make this. Again, this recipe is for two people. If you're making more, just double the amount and you will not be Sorry that you made this dish. I promise you, your partner is going to love it 100%. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Share with your friends if you loved it. Comment down below if you like this recipe. If you recreate this recipe, tag me on my Instagram page. That way I can see your recreations. Remember to subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out a lot. Turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a video. Remember, we upload videos every week. So we'll see you guys next week with a brand new recipe. Bye. Have a great weekend.